Chris Ockley back here at Lafayette High School, uh, two days after 2014 state championship meet with uh, Sean O'Connor, the Lafayette boys head coach. And uh, well, what's what's feel like state champion? Third <laughs> cool. last couple years, and then now yeah. state champion. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice feeling. You know, obviously, you know, you a lot of good teams yeah, to we'll race this and way. stuff. Yep. A lot of good teams that you're racing and stuff, and that's you know it's always a good feeling whenever you get a chance to beat them. And uh, it's a nice feeling too to show all your hard work's paid off. You sure. know, the last couple of years from you know a lot of those kids working with them since they were freshmen, most of them now juniors. So yeah, it's kind of a cool feeling. Well, well, you were pretty. Con you must have been really confident going into Saturday, were you? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. You so. never know what's going to happen. I sure. mean, all the unknowns and stuff. I wasn't real confident. I historically don't sleep really well before big meets, so okay. that that definitely occurred again. Yeah. Well, it seems like after the race, maybe 30 minutes after I saw you, you were smiling and happy, but it seems like you knew that that was coming. But uh, but I guess you were wary of. Uh, yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, usually it's it's 80 points, and I was just like, well, you know, we might have three in the top 15, and maybe right. another kid I think can get top 25, and. I'm hoping we can get a fifth guy in the 60s, and we'll score 80 points, and sure. it'll be close. And that's that's kind of more I was thinking about it. And then watching the race unfold, you're like, oh, we're uh, we're going for this." And I was right. like, "Okay." I'm like, and then I'm waiting at Firehouse. I was like, "Holy crap, we're still waiting!" Right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "That's pretty cool." And then you know, Tommy coming through as our fifth guy, right. I was like. Like please, Tommy, don't die. Right. <laughs> he rang awesome. Oh, so. he just kept moving up. Yeah, up. that was great. So all in all, it was really cool. And that, and, you know, after you see the four in the top ten, and I was like, Tommy, at, I didn't have an exact number, but I was in the thirties. I was True. like, okay, now it's time I can be a little you bit knew. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what um, obviously uh, a special year and built a great program, and um, what I guess. Dylan said that was the plan, don't go out and lead, just get in good position. Yeah, he wasn't really allowed to lead. So, okay. yeah, I mean, it, from their perspective, they're getting old enough now and training methods and, and theory and stuff. They know that, sure. you know, we're not running the volume that a lot of those other kids are doing. And so to go out and try to, to bust out in the 440s just isn't going to work for us. Sure. And we don't need to do it. You know, Dylan's a 153 kid in the A. You know, like, yeah. I, if he can stay within a thousand meters, you know, within a couple, sure. you know, fifty meters of a kid in the last thousand, yeah, and he's gonna have a crack at it no matter what. So I just, it's like, yeah, don't lead, right, <laughs> right. Not, don't do it. Well, and it was amazing that forty-two points, and it just kept going and kept going down and down yep. and down. Each split, each mile split. I think you guys were at like sixty points or something, seventy or eighty, maybe at that mile mark, and then down in the sixties, and then forty-five, and then Alec kicked. Couple yep. of those guys down on the, that last yeah. 160 meters and ended up at 42. And did you ever dream it could be that low? No, <laughs> I didn't even believe it when I saw it the first time. I was, I said I was hoping to be in the 80s. I yeah. didn't think it, I didn't really think much about the 40s and even, and I didn't even realize you know just the significance of it until you know talking to you know Mo Miles Split and some of the other guys and they're like, so how's it feel to be the first you know fat, the best team scoring class four in history or since it was there was a class four, class four and I was right. like. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't think about it. Right. But it, it's pretty, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, that just. That's saying kinda, something. Yeah, right. it just shows how special of a day it was. You know, you know, watching the race, you, that it was a special race to begin right. with. And then, you know, looking at it later and all, you know, 40, you know, the 41 or 42 points. And then how, like, you know, like you're saying every mile mark, every kid moved up, even from the three mile to the finish. Sure. Other than Austin and, and Dylan, all of them gained at least another place or two from you know from there, and that's, that's you impressive. know that's, that's yeah that's a good I mean that's just shows how how impressive it was for the kids and what a good job they were doing. Right, right, and uh, what um, and even Devin just as a junior to finish seventh. Boy, yeah, uh, <laughs> you uh, um, you're really uh, happy that you convinced those guys to give up soccer. Him and Alex. Huh? Yeah. Well, and, I, and Alec was sick as, as a dog on Saturday, so I was happy he finished 10th. Yeah. And he sounded horrible. Really? I, thought he, I was thought he was going to really struggle. I didn't tell him that, but sure, I, sure. I, I, he was really sick, so I yeah. was real nervous, you know, about that. But, yeah, and then, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard work, and sometimes they're, they don't like the workouts they necessarily are doing, but, sure. you know, after that, you're just like, eh. See, yeah. what we're doing has a purpose. <laughs> right, right, right. Probably had a smile on the whole day Saturday. And, oh, yeah. Uh, 
Um, any any best moment that you have, maybe from when they announced you as state champions and you walked up on that podium, or just meet uh, with the guys right afterwards? Yeah, or? I'd say meeting with the guys right afterwards. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I'm usually a little more on the stoic side. Sure. So, you know, I saw them like running and screaming and jumping and yeah. running around like a fool. That was pretty exciting. Nice. Not pretty out of character for, for yeah. me, I guess. And I'm sure that felt even better knowing that last year for a few minutes you guys thought you were state <laughs> champions and ended up ended up third with the uh, yeah the, with the scoring with, blip there with the myth of Tommy Lehrman last year he came through this year though so yeah. that's okay I guess we'll forgive him for last year magically right. appearing in the in the, in the cool. scores yeah but yeah and that was you know it was one of those things too where it was, even with it being I thought pretty significant we're like okay we're not gonna go celebrating and do anything like this yeah. like I'm. I'm not celebrating until I have a trophy in my hand. <laughs> sure, sure. And then I noticed uh, they uh, that the uh, tradition of the uh, pajama pants ended up on you too. How did that happen? Oh, I was like, oh, what the heck? Joined, might finally as, joined yeah, in. Might as well, I might as well jump in there and do, you know, and, jo and join the kids in that. They seem to be having a good time. I was like, ah, we'll show some uh, camaraderie here and coach will jump in it for once it won't happen again until maybe say next year uh, okay okay so they had did have a little bit of an effect on you huh yeah i guess they're yeah. likable kids right. might, might as well right well um obviously i'm sure it's still going to take some time to probably fully hit what you what you did saturday and how special uh, of a performance it was but um now focusing on sunday and uh and trying to get a trip to uh uh, well, see if you pop up in the national rankings anywhere, and yeah. then uh, and uh, trip trying to get a trip to uh, up to Oregon for Nike Cross Nationals. What's have you scouted or looked online at any other top not, teams in the you know, Midwest not, or done anything like that? Not yet? really, actually. I mean, it's I mean, racing's racing. It doesn't matter if you're racing the kids from Blue Springs or you're racing the kids from Indiana. I mean, you're sure. just going to go out there, and you know, I don't think. They're not, you're not going to let those other teams affect how you race. I mean, sure. what we've been doing has been, has been working. So we'll we'll continue doing our thing and hopefully run smart. You know, a lot of those kids saw the course last year, which is probably pretty, which is beneficial, right. and that'll help. And hopefully it's not the swamp that it was last year, and it'll, yeah. be, it'll be fun. I'll go up on Sunday and watch them run. Yeah. And I know they're going to do their thing on Saturday and, and sure. have fun with all that. So as long as it's a good experience. Sure, sure. Well, congrats again, and uh, it's uh, been fun to watch these guys all season long. And Saturday was was pretty was a lot of fun. So, congrats and uh, enjoy that day. I know, as the, my coach said when we um, in high school when we won our state title, that you know he just wants you know just put a picture frame around that day and enjoy thinking about that for the rest of his life. So, oh yeah, um, I'm sure you'll you'll get to do that too. So. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's it's. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's yeah. right. It was a pretty cool day. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I don't know if it's it'll sink in maybe in a couple weeks. Sure, sure. Uh, lots of pats on the back sore today. From lots of pats and back on <laughs> bats on the back yeah, from uh, your that, coworkers. Yeah, and then just trying to catch back up. Missing a day of school is always chaotic. Yeah, you know, especially you know, being a math teacher. It's a chasing my tail all day, sure, <laughs> but sure. yeah, for good reasons, obviously. Yeah. So can't yeah. complain. Yeah. Well, congrats, and we'll let you let you get to it. But uh, congrats, and keep up the good work. Oh, thank you very much. All right, thanks, Coach.